Hello, 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 hello. Sanbanan, how are you doing? So, this is the Real Housewives of Durban, season one, episode 12, the penultimate episode. Mabusi and Flowers don't mix. That's the title I'm giving this episode. Um, it's the last episode before the reunion, and it's the most eventful episode of the Real Housewives of Durban to date. It it was tiring to watch it. I can imagine filming it was was even worse. Okay, so the episode picks up from the L-shaped table dinner and the host is MIA. Where is Nangu and where is Annie? What? What? Hold up, oh, hold up, wait a minute. Wow. Ooh. As their guests are sitting around feeling cold, waiting for food, I feel like Nanku has played all her cards and left the audience feeling like, that's it, she can exit the show. She brought the elephant in the room, professed her undying love for Sfiso, reunited Notile with her brothers, visited Sfiso's grave, launched her wine multiple times, introduced us to Mabusi, to her sister, to her mother, to her father, to Brenda, cried about her abusive ex-husband. Did I miss anything? It's like, we already know about this girl. What more is she going to bring next season? Anyway, um, <laughs> back to the dinner. I had a bluntly pointed out the obvious, uh, that Nogu is a lousy host. Upon which uh, KG carried energetically, but it yielded zero drama. I feel like KG is being set up to stay up drama, and nobody is interested in KG's drama. So um, KG actually thinks Anda and Lakongo are fighting with her. I saw none of that. Maybe it's my perception. Uh, she let them know that Agavasari, like, Mogel is brave. How do you tell two sizable Zulu women that um, you don't fear them? In, in fact, they must bring it on. Anyway, so, did Mabusa's flowers not end up on the floor by Nonku's door? <laughs> yeah, the real housewives of Devon, Baba. KG and Sorisha had a catching up session, and yes, Sorisha is a mean girl too. It pains me to say this. So, Sorisha was on some, I was gonna throw curry powder on them. Uh, where were you gonna get curry powder, my girl? Anyway, Pupo brought Ayanda some more fashions, and I'm here for that. And they're their own uh, catching up session with the Tonto. And you know how they have these terms that they use. The new term was, they, they left us hanging like a chandelier. <laughs> okay, so they had dinner with Siba at her restaurant. Um, Nongu called La Tonto Ikaba for wanting to toast with Sobe. But I don't think La Tonto will be insulted by that. Anyway, Nongu went, went around the table kissing everybody's bottoms, like... Telling everybody how wonderful they are. Oh, so unnecessary and so fake. Um, and then there was a third launch of Ashes to Beauty. I am tired of hearing about this wine. It's been launched to death. Like, ugh. Lakondo pulled the KG with her eye rolls, her yawns, and just her demeanor of disinterest. I was so annoyed. Okay, so Flower's Gate happened and it lifted the energy in the dungeon. It seems any and Nongu are really becoming close. Hmm. I wonder why. See what a little ass kissing can do for you. There were so many activities and this could have been used as team building, but nope, they were just for fun. Hiking, ziplining, and the scorching South African sun. 
zip lining in heels baba in heels oh no thanks so the bikers were a big hit to the ladies especially you ayanda you know ayanda she jokes around too much about being thirsty that one upon arrival at the harbor on those majestic motorbikes they put at the boat and had fun eating drinking dancing thus concluding season one of the real housewives of durban so it's reunion time this time reunion i'm ready for the drama i am so ready for the drama thank you so much for watching please tune in next week for the reunion please don't forget to subscribe to like hit the notifications bell comment share i really need your support thank you